welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we will be doing a little something special. Today is actually our, what babe? First appointment. First doctor's appointment. So we will be taking you guys along with, and I don't know if you can see me. There we go. And um, yeah, hopefully everything is good. And um, you know, the baby is good, the baby being. Everything comes out good and um, good positive news and um, yep so we've been waiting for this day for a while now huh we haven't told no one yet so I can't wait to put this up I can't wait to go through this journey with you guys um, this has been something that we've been waiting for forever uh, we've been trying for how many years babe I'm getting all emotional <laughs> like what eight nine years yeah we've been trying for for about eight years to have a baby and um, unfortunately you know we couldn't have a baby sooner but hey God works in uh, mysterious ways so we're just super excited I'm super super excited we are on our way right now and um, yeah we'll take you guys along with us um, I believe this first appointment will be just like to meet the doctor, my OBGYN, and um, to kind of just go through the do's and don'ts and what to expect. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been pregnant, so everything is so different. Every There's a lot of new things that I didn't know about, so I'm super excited to learn with you guys. Um, I'm going to tag along. <laughs> I'll just have a seat in one of those chairs over there. It's fine. Thank you, Marie. Mm -hmm. My name is Gina. I'm the three doctor nurse. Awesome. I'm learning how to do this in case somebody's not here. Oh, you good. Sounds great. So we won't see the doctor today, so okay, we'll be doing fine. the ultrasound today, but that first visit for sure. Okay, It looks perfect. like, according to your last period, you already all right guys so we just finished the appointment um the first appointment was just get to know the your OBGYN and my OBG wasn't there <clears throat> this morning he had an emergency to do um so he had to do I'm sure someone went into labor or something um but all we did was just um they took out some blood they did like eight tubes and i'm just like feeling a little woozy a little dizzy and um what was it that and they just kind of went over you know all the stuff right you know everything that you're gonna go through and like do's and don'ts so it was pretty good. It was a really good uh, appointment, but unfortunately it wasn't what we wanted. But I get it, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, so <clears throat> we will be having our legit appointment on this Monday coming up. So today is Wednesday, so we'll be having it on Monday. And of course we will be bringing you guys with us. Uh, but I just kind of got I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. Um, of how it went I just got poked <laughs> I hate it and they couldn't they did this hand and this hand so they just kind of did like a like a pregnancy test make sure I was pregnant she was like congratulations and um, it was just it was fun it was it was it was good we have a little short clip of you know what we did but uh, yeah, stay tuned for next Monday. Uh, I am so glad to be back. I swear it I, I really want to save this for another video and stuff and you know just to go with j Just to let you guys know what we went through. I kind of um, 
went through a little depression because of everything, you know, everything going on. And we definitely wanted to get pregnant, <clears throat> get pregnant and stuff. So I was kind of going through a little depression myself. So I, I was really not in the mood for filming um, which I love filming because I feel like filming, you guys are like my best friends, like, I swear, like, when I film and I talk to the camera, <laughs> it's no one, but it's the camera, and I know you guys see me, but I swear it's like, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that, you know, watch me and stuff, so I, I definitely, I love filming, uh, but it wasn't, I wasn't in the mood, oh my god, I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> But I, I just wasn't in the mood for a while. And I'm like, what's going on? And um, after I found out that I was pregnant, I did notice that it, it was this. It was this the whole time. Oh, I'm getting so emotional. I need to stop. But I definitely found out that I was, you know, uh, in depression because, you know, we've been trying for the longest. And... We finally, you know, got pregnant and stuff. And one day I kind of broke down in the shower. And I'm like, God, what? What's going on? You know, like, why why aren't you giving me a baby? And I swear I heard, I swear he heard me that day. Because I was just crying and crying and crying. And um, this was a couple of months back. And even though, like other people tell you oh you know time will come it, it's so hard to even hear that you know like don't think about it or don't get stressed over it it's so hard it's so hard especially when you've been trying forever and I feel like people don't understand that so I'm like I'm just gonna bring them when, when I found out that I was pregnant I I was in, in complete shock and I I was still in shock for like a month but you know what <clears throat> Things do work in mysterious ways, and there's always a, a perfect timing. So, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that, um, why I haven't been filming, why I haven't been in the mood. And I know it's not, you know, I shouldn't be like, oh, you know, whatever, but I, I was depressed. I'm not going to lie. I, I was really depressed. And, um... I found out why I was depressed. I honestly, when I was going through depression, I didn't even know I was actually going through it until uh, my coworkers would tell me, why are you so down? What's wrong? Are you okay? And um, yeah, it, it, it was just unexpected. And uh, I didn't realize that it was actually happening. And it was happening because I, you know, we couldn't have a baby. Uh, but hey, here I am now and I am happy as ever. And I'm glad to be back. So Tana wanted to go take out Coco. Uh -huh. I was just letting them know the tea. Did you text her? Yeah, I texted her. Did you tell her? No. You should have told her. Say hey. But all right, guys. I am gonna. We're gonna go get some food because I feel a little dizzy. I haven't had any food. I did this morning, but I had like a cup of coffee and some cake. <laughs> some leftover cake from Santana's birthday. Santana's birthday was yesterday, dude. And he's like, this is the best birthday gift ever. Oh, I had a little double chin, girl. What's wrong? But yeah, he was like, this is the best birthday ever. Um, you know, we found out that I was pregnant. And of course, I was going to surprise him for his birthday. But I couldn't. Um, I couldn't hold it that long. But uh, yeah, we're about to go eat. And um I'm just waiting for Samantha. She's staying forever. Little preteens take forever. Uh, but yeah, we're waiting for Samantha. Unfortunately, Samantha can't go with us to our appointment. So we're really bummed out about that. Um, just because of COVID stuff. And they can't have, you can't have more than one person. And that person has to be over the age of 18. Uh, but I get it, you know. Um, but yeah, we're about to go eat, I think, Olive Garden. I really want some breadsticks and some Supa Toscana <laughs> and some pasta, of course. I swear I'm going to get huge, but I don't care. Anything for the baby bean. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tu pasas. 
pensaste en mí 